What if the undisputed king of AI chips, NVIDIA, is quietly losing its crown in one of the world's most critical markets? For years, NVIDIA has stood as a titan in the artificial intelligence landscape, especially when it comes to the powerful chips that fuel this technological revolution. And China, with its massive ambitions in AI, has been a cornerstone of NVIDIA's global dominance. But a new report from Bernstein, highlighted by CNBC, suggests a significant shift is underway. You see, for a while, the narrative focused on U.S. export restrictions, which certainly hit NVIDIA hard, leading to billions in lost revenue. We all heard about those hurdles. But here's the twist. The data now shows that NVIDIA's market share in China, which stood at a commanding 66% just last year, is projected to drop to 54% by 2025. And according to analysts, those U.S. restrictions are only partly to blame. The real story developing on the ground. Chinese domestic players like Huawei, Cambercon, and Haigon have seized this moment. They have dramatically expanded their market presence, effectively filling the vacuum created by NVIDIA's temporary absence. Think of it like a new set of local champions emerging while the foreign incumbent was momentarily sidelined. Analysts at Bernstein put it bluntly. The U.S. export controls inadvertently created a unique opportunity for Chinese providers. They now expect the localization of China's AI chip market to surge from just 17% in 2023 to a staggering 55% by 2027. That's like China saying, we're building our own tech ecosystem, and a majority of our future demand will no longer rely on U.S. technology. Daniel Newman, CEO of the Futurum Group, echoes this sentiment. He cautions that simply re-entering the market won't guarantee NVIDIA a smooth return to its former glory. Many Chinese customers, during that period of restricted access, actively sought out alternatives. And frankly, they might just stick with them. Plus, we're seeing the Chinese government express a clear, growing interest in building its own robust AI infrastructure, with a long-term goal of replacing U.S. products entirely. This isn't just about market dynamics. It's also deeply political. Just last week, the Cyberspace Administration of China even summoned NVIDIA, specifically to address security concerns about their H20 chips, including fears of potential technical backdoors that could allow U.S. access. NVIDIA, for their part, firmly pushed back against those accusations. But this meeting in Beijing wasn't just a technical review. Analysts interpret it as a stark political signal. China wants to maintain significant leverage over the import of foreign AI chips, especially as its own homegrown technology matures. Interestingly, some, like Riva Gujan from the Rhodium Group, suggest that the limited easing of U.S. export controls by the Trump administration was a calculated strategic move. The idea being that by allowing U.S. tech companies a restricted presence, the United States could maintain a degree of geopolitical influence. It's a delicate balance, certainly. However, the situation remains incredibly fragile. Future U.S. laws will likely demand even more comprehensive security protocols in AI chips. This pushes Beijing further towards self-reliance, especially given that talks between Washington and Beijing have recently stalled again. If China doubles down on domestic producers, NVIDIA could face even stronger headwinds. So, we're witnessing more than just a market share shift. We're seeing the strategic reshaping of the global AI chip landscape, where national ambition increasingly trumps purely economic forces. Can NVIDIA navigate this complex geopolitical chess match, or are we watching the permanent redrawing of the AI map? Let us know what you think. And if you found this insightful, remember to hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into the world of tech.